So last year, November 2019, um, I was contacted by the uh, my local newspaper, the San Antonio Express News, and they wanted to do a story on what my what I was doing, you know, like returning the class rings. And um, when the guy came to my place, um, you know, he asked me all these questions and everything, you know, he was taking all the little notes down and, um, you know, we kept keeping in contact throughout the month, um, asking me all these questions and making sure that, you know, everything was right. And so after a couple of weeks, he calls me and he says, hey, guess what? Um, I think you just made the front page and I'm like, what? Uh, uh, you gotta be kidding. And he's like, no, for real, you got the front page, but, uh, but we'll keep in contact. Okay. I just wanted to give you the news. Um, I thought you might like that. I'm like, what the heck? I, of course I like that. So a week passed, you know, and a few more days passed. And, um, yeah, I was thinking throughout the week, I said, I don't think it's going to make the front page. Maybe he meant it's going to make like the front page of a different section in the newspaper. So, you know, I had that in my mind, you know, I said, well, maybe it's going to come out in a section called lifestyle or entertainment or maybe like social media, something like that. Right. So, you know, time passed. So then on November, Sunday, November 10th, 2019, you know, of course, um, I knew when the story was going to come out. So I grabbed my newspaper, you know, and here it is. And I was, I, I was looking at it just like this, right? And I, and I kept looking at it and I'm like, well, I don't see it. I mean, he did say front page. Now it's probably in the other sections. So when I dropped it and I saw the whole page, oh my God, there it is. Central Express News. There it is, right there, front page. I mean, I was like, wow. <laughs> I mean, who gets to be on front page? So anyway, I wanted to read you the story, and I'm going to do that right now. Just keep in mind, this was last year, and a lot of things have changed. I've reunited a lot of rings, and numbers have changed with the Facebook page, and so, yeah, um, but remember, share that Facebook page. And I have this YouTube page, too. All right, so here we go. This was last year. Richard Escovedo holds Floyd Spearman's 1987 class ring, which he will return to him this month. He shines by reuniting class rings with owners by Rene A. Guzman, staff writer. Last time, Floyd Spearman saw his 1987 class ring from Silsby High School near Beaumont was nearly 30 years ago when he set it on a bathroom sink in Philadelphia while serving in the Navy. Then, in September, the 51-year-old Beaumont safety coordinator heard from a most welcome but unexpected ring bearer. San Antonio retiree Richard Escovedo had found Spearman's heirloom at a San Antonio flea market, then traced it back to Spearman through Facebook and his old football team captain. He even texted photos, photographic proof of the ring, which bore Spearman's emerald birthstone and first name above a roaring tiger, the Silsby mascot. Now Spearman looks forward to meeting Escobedo later this month for what he thought was an impossible reunion. I got chills when he called me, he said. I got, I got your ring, Spearman said. Ring story continues on A21. All right, come on, folks, come on. Don't go nowhere. Grab yourself a drink. All right, let's see. There you go. All right, and this is the, the other page, the continuation. All right. Oh, and does this look familiar? This is the one from our Facebook page. All right. From the cover, 
rings from page A1. It seemed like a part of me was lost when I lost my rings, said Spearman. Escobedo knows the feeling. A proud 1982 graduate of Kennedy High School in the Edgewood Independent School District in San Antonio, Texas. Escobedo lost his own class ring in 1997. That's when he figures it was stolen from his bedroom dresser during a party. His efforts to find it still unsuccessful. <laughs> um, helped and inspire him to reunite people with their lost class rings. Since 2011, Escovedo, 55, has combed San Antonio flea markets, pawn shops, and antique stores for class rings he can afford, usually 35, 45, or less. Then, he uses the names on the rings to track down their owners via school websites and alumni groups. That is, when the San Antonio native isn't organizing pub crawls, volleyball games, game nights, or other events for his two social clubs San, called San Antonio Fun for Everyone and San Antonio Gay Friends. And he also has the groups on Facebook, which is Class Rings Bought, to reunite to rifle owners. He also has Can You Guess It game on Facebook. The way Escobedo sees it, those bands of white and yellow gold bear more than just shimmering center stones and favorite campus activities or interests. They also mark a major rite of passage, hi hi highlighting a graduate's singular accomplishments and experiences. That ring has a lot of their personal, personal information and their memories, Escobedo said. It shouldn't be anyone else's. At first, the retired early childhood educator searched Facebook for lost class ring notices. He was using the social media app more and more to reconnect with old friends, but he wasn't returning rings with owners. Then in August, he decided to fine-tune his mission with the launch of Class Rings Bought to Reunite to Rightful Owners, a Facebook page where he and now more than 600 members post photos and descriptions of lost or found class rings. Remember, that was last year. Now, we're at 3,300. All right, Escovedo's rules for returning class rings are simple. Buy what you can afford, then get it back to its owner without a reward. Reward. Sorry, couldn't pronounce that. Um, I don't want nothing in return, Escobedo said. The whole point of this is to get them their rings back, because one day I want my ring. Since launching the Facebook page, Escobedo has made two class ring connections. Spearman was the second, the first with Drake Lager, a 2018 graduate of Little Cypress Maurice High School in Orange County. Lager lost his class ring in July 2018 in the Gulf of Mexico off of off South Padre Island. Escobedo found it this summer at South Padre Island Antique Shop. Even with social media, reuniting those rings with their owners can be tough. Money and time constraints aside, Escovedo also has to convince the ring owner, or usually the contact he first makes, knows the ring owner, that he's not some scam artist or crook who may have stolen the ring in the first place. That may explain why only a handful of his more than 600 Facebook members say they've had a successful reunion. Still, Escobedo remains undeterred. He now has around 25 class rings, which he keeps in a foam ring pad with a small magnifying glass to glean ring details and a clip-on smartphone lens to take close-up shots. And while he's spent a lot, a little more than 500 on 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 the rings he still considers that first ring reunion with Lager a priceless return on his investment when i returned that ring to Lager i cried inside as well said Lager's epilepsy causes seizure severe seizures that make it difficult for him to speak so escobedo spoke to his parents instead about setting up the reunion they decided to make a surprise. Escobedo met Lager and his parents in August in San Antonio, 
where he surprised Legger with his class ring inside a small blue box, a nod to the Gulf waters that took it a year ago. I think it's awesome what Escobedo does, said Legger's mother, Sina Rodriguez, who spoke on her son's behalf. Drake didn't know anything about the ring, nothing. When Richard gave it to him that day, he was shocked. Escobedo was trying to arrange reunions with the owners of two other rings in his collection. One is a woman in the Houston area who lost her 2006 Runge High School class ring. The other is a woman in College Station who lost a 2001 class ring from what appears to be Cascade High School in Turner, Oregon. Escobedo said he just doesn't trust putting rings in the mail and would rather hand them over in person, if only to see their owner's reactions when they see their rings again. And judging by Spearman's excitement to meet him later this month, Escobedo should look forward to another happy face reflected in another returned ring. We will soon be reunited and back as one again, Spearman said with a laugh. All right, and that's the story. There you go. I don't know if you can see it. I'll go a little bit closer. And there you go. I was shocked when it was when the, he told me it was going to be in the front page. That was pretty cool. So, anyway, all right. Y'all, thank you for watching the uh, video and listening to the story. I know a lot of people haven't seen the article, so I thought I'd share it with everybody. All right. Thank y'all. Bye.